measuring bone density. Individuals with low bone density, osteoporosis, have a high risk of broken bones. Physicians who are concerned about low bone density in patients can refer them for specialized testing. This is problem 2.3. Sorry about that. Currently, the most common method for bone testing is dual energy x-ray, blah, blah. A patient who undergoes this type of test usually gets a bone density results in grams per square centimeter in standardized units. Okay? Judy, who is 25 years old, has her bone density measured on this type of test. So Judy ends up with a z-score of negative 1.45. Her bone density was reported to be 948 grams per centimeter squared. Let's keep in mind, Judy is 25 years old. OK. And then, um, let's see what else they say. Judy is not taking a statistics class in a few years. Explain to her in simple language what the standardized score tells her about her bone density. Anna? Did you raise your hand? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Matt? Okay. Do you need to say negative? What word has to be there? Good, good. So Judy's bone density, I'll write BD for bone density, is 1.45 standard deviations below the mean. Okay. Sort of interesting. Um, you'll notice this problem. They gave us a little bit of extra information, actually. If, if, if you read here, it says, in 25-year-old women like Judy, the mean bone density in, in, the, in her body should be 956 grams per centimeter squared. So mu should be 956 um, grams per centimeter squared. OK. Um, so with this new information, it's sort of strange. I mean, we, we have the z-score. We know she's 1.54 or 1.45 standard deviations below the mean. But what's sort of strange is I don't actually know what the standard deviation for 25-year-old women is. Right? It's not told to us in this problem. Look it over. You'll see it's not there. Could you find it? Is the question. Could you find the missing standard deviation in this case? What do you think? Tell us what you think we should do. I'm really interested in some steps here. Go ahead, Anna. So what formula should I write down for myself? Good. So we're going to write down the z-score. z equals x minus mu over sigma. And we're going to fill things in. Negative 1.45. Oops, excuse me for a second there. Negative 1.45 equals, do we know x? What's x in this case? You want to say it? OK. I think it was 948. That was Judy's bone density. Right? Minus, do we know mu? Sure we do. What is it, 956? Right? And we just are missing the standard deviation. But we can solve this. This is sort of a fun problem, finding standard deviation when it's missing. All right, and this will happen again. Negative 1.45 sigma equals, okay, a little help here. Adam, did you subtract those yet? Negative 8. I see what I did. I actually just cross multiply here. I kind of skipped a step. But put this over 1, cross multiply, and you can see what happens. All right, um, what do you recommend we do now? Serena, what do you think? We're going to divide. We're going to divide by negative 1.45. 4, 5, negative 1.45, and then we have our standard deviation, which is approximately what, Adam? 5.5072. 5. Okay, that's close enough. That'll work.